or ground glass or whatever you call it. And uh, this is the classic pneumonic presentation that we have seen in hundreds of patients in the first wave and the second wave. And now we don't know whether it will come back again with more predilection towards lung. Now again, with treatment, the lesions will come down or many patients at presentation will have an x-ray like this. Now, what are the characteristics of patients who had had COVID with lung infiltrates in terms of its long-term lung changes and the performance of the patient? So what are the people who are at risk of developing this persistent inflammatory lung changes? I wouldn't specifically use the word interstitial lung because it is not a ILD-like pattern. It was a misnomer. Initial literature said it, it can produce interstitial lung disease, but that is entirely different. This is a post-viral, post-infective inflammatory lung change. And who are the ones who are likely to get it? 